Hey, what's going on CGI fellas? Um, in this video for Cinema 4D, I'll be covering the knife tool, or it's called the line tool. Uh, I don't know why it's called the line cut, but I just call it the knife tool. Anyway, the, the shortcut for the uh, line tool or the knife tool is K or double K. Uh, so inner extrude is I, and then double K is your line tool or line cut tool. I don't know. It's, the name is really confusing. It looks like a knife. I just call it a knife, a knife tool. And, Anyway, uh, there's a bunch of options here. I'll go over these options and uh, uh, pretty much this tool is used, you know how you have your loop cuts. Uh, so if I go to my loop cut and uh, as you can see it cuts the loop around my mesh. Uh, the knife tool or the double K knife tool is used uh, to manually cut your mesh. So you can do all kinds of different cuts and then from there you can extrude, inner extrude and so on, bevel. And it gives you more control when it comes to cutting your mesh. Uh, anyway, let's just go over the options, and there's not that many options, but the options are really important. So first you have visible only. Uh, this just means whenever you cut, like this, it just click, and then release. And as you can see, the Cinema 3D keeps wanting you to cut more, so all you have to do is click escape, and then the cut gets applied. So the visible only just cuts your geometry um, in, on the visible angle. So as you can see here, if I cut like this, it's only going to cut oh, whatever my camera is uh, looking at. So if I look under my mesh, uh, there's no cuts there. Uh, but now if I do the same thing without the visible checked on, and do my cut, and then click escape, as you can see, if I oops, if I go under my mesh, it did cut all the way through. So this tool is really useful, and it's it's mostly used in the top mode uh, for get uh, to get your more like precise cuts. So if for some reason you know your loop tool is not working, all you have to do is uh, Go in here and start cutting just like this and then you can go back to your perspective mode and as you can see it cuts all the way through and then you can delete the uh, delete the edges here and then create your custom pretty much your custom cuts I don't know what, how else would you call it so if I delete these faces and then weld my edges together and I'm inside my uh, polygon pen tool and I'm holding command to weld my edges. If you don't know how to do this, you can just watch my previous videos where I covered the polygon pen tool. Uh, but anyway, so we get this kind of effect. So this option visible only for the knife tool is really useful. It's for cutting, you know, based on camera angles or cutting based on, you know, it doesn't matter where your camera is, you can just cut through your geometry and uh, it cuts all the way well, you know, to the bottom of your mesh. Uh, anyway, the next useful tool is uh, the line uh, line cut or the single line. So you have, if you have this checked, you don't have to worry about clicking escape after you cut. So if, as you can see, if I click and drag and let go, the cut gets applied right away. But if I have this deselected, if I click, click again, release, it wants me to cut more and more until I click escape. Uh, so this option is really good, you know, sometimes it's really annoying for you to click escape all the time. So you can just, you know, cut it and then let go and cut gets applied. And as you can see, we cut all the way through because visible only was checked off. Uh, but it's okay, I'm just trying to show you how this tool is used. Um, so we'll just uncheck that. And then the infinite cut, you know, it's pretty much the same thing. But it cuts, as you can see, it cuts all the way through infinitely. So you give it a small cut, and then it gives you this uh, preview of a uh, yellow line. And it just means where the cuts can be applied. Yeah, this comes in handy sometimes, but I don't really, I don't really use it. Um, the next few options you have here, you have the cut tool, which is you know just cutting, and then from there, as you can see, if I select my uh, face, everything's still welded. So that's what that's what cutting does. Double K for the knife tool, and uh, in the split tool, uh, it's gonna split your faces. So if I do my cut and then click Escape, if I click on my face and move, as you can see, it split the face for me. So this comes in handy. You know, depend depending on what you're doing, you can either split faces, you can either split faces or you just cut the faces. It just depends on what you're modeling. Uh, the next part is really cool is remove A or remove B. 
Uh, so pretty much what it does, let me just deselect double K. It just cuts your geometry like uh, pretty much like in sculpting mode. So as you can see, if I click here and uh, let go, it cut all my geometry and it left, uh, to whatever's to the left, uh, it left it and whatever's to the right, it cut it. Uh, so if you don't want this effect, you can just go from remove B instead of remove A and do the same thing. And as you can see, it gives you a nice and clean cut. And then from there, you can come back and weld your uh, faces or edges and uh, fix the geometry. Uh, but this one's really cool. If you go to your top mode, you can get all kinds of different uh, effects, you know, like this. It just really clean cuts. And then from there, you can just weld your points together and, uh, you know, continue with your project. Anyway, let's see what kind of other options you have here. Um, I'll select only cuts, uh, restrict to selection. It's useful sometimes. Uh, this is really simple. You just select your faces or edges and then double K. And if you have this selected, restricted to selection, uh, your knife tool, even though I start here uh, on my outside edges and go in all the way through, the cuts can be applied only to the selected area. So this is kind of like a security uh, insurance for you to not to make a mistake and cut somewhere else. And so if I select you know these five faces and I want to cut only there, this option is really good because uh, you know it just restricts uh, restricts your cuts to selection. Uh, that's about it for that uh, for that option. And what else? Auto snap. You should always have it on. Angle constraint, you know, it's it's useful sometimes, but I don't really use this one. And real time cuts, just leave that on. Anyway, so let me show you a scenario where you can uh, use the cut tool or the knife knife tool. Uh, so sometimes, you know, you want something custom in your mesh, and uh, you cannot really do that with the loop tool. Uh, so you would come in here, you know, maybe do something like this. Oops, I'd have to switch my mode from cutting, I mean from um, removing to cutting and as you can see I can cut something like this and now I have it here and I think it went to the other side but it doesn't matter and then from here you can delete your faces, uh, optimize your scene by highlighting all the vertices because right now I have all kinds of vertices floating around so you just highlight, optimize, remove all the vertices and then you can come back, highlight all your edges, and see if it works UL. Well, it's not working in this case, so we have to do it manually. Just select all your edges. It doesn't matter if it selects other stuff. If you click Command and Hold, you can deselect. And just, oops, let's deselect, deselect these. And then from here you can um, create a point, or you can uh, patch the hole like this. And then uh, you can create a point in the middle to give you um, subdivisions like this. And you know you can just do all kinds of stuff, uh, but pretty much it's it's used for you know creating custom cuts or fixing your geometry sometimes. You know, all the inner extrudes, extrudes, and other tools uh, will give you errors, and uh, you have to pretty much dissolve your edges or uh, faces, and then come in with your knife tool and add those cuts in to keep your geometry clean. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, hopefully this video helped you. Please subscribe, leave it a like, and uh, in my next video, I'll be covering the, uh, the plane cut and uh, the loop cut tools. So thank you, have a good day, and uh, I'll see you in my next video, guys. Uh, bye.